Are you looking for a video security system for your RV that has tons of features? Well, boy, do I have the app just for you. Hi and welcome back. I am Jason with Imagine Your Odyssey, where we bring you tips and how-tos and reviews of different things about RVs from my experience. And from my experiences, I knew that I wanted a video security system for my RV. We have dogs and things like that that we leave inside of the RV when we go somewhere, and I want to keep an eye on them. I want to know that they have plenty of air conditioner or anything like that that they need so that I know that they're safe. Plus, it's a good idea to have a security system just in case you need it and you want to put something on the outside or any of the other reasons that you might want a security system. And because of that, I have just the perfect app for you. Now, before we get into all the details about what the app is, I would like to ask you to click on the subscribe, ring the bell, click on the all notifications, give a thumbs up for the video and everything else because YouTube likes it. Now, before I tell you what the app is, I wanted to remind all of you out there that this is not paid. I didn't get contacted by this company and get asked to promote this in any kind of way. I'm not getting paid, reimbursed, or anything like that. Like I said, this is from my experiences, and I wanted to share it with all of you. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the app. The app is called Alfred Camera. You can get this app on just about any device. Now what this app does is puts a program on your device. Now in my case, I'm using an iPhone and I'm using an iPad behind me as the actual camera. We'll get into the details in just a second about how all that is set up. But if you don't have an iPhone or you don't have an iPad, you're using other devices that are not Apple devices, it'll still work for you. Now a real quick high level overview. What it does is it puts an app on here and it puts an app on the other device. They talk to each other through Wi-Fi or cell signal or whatever, however it's connected. Now you'll have to set up a Google account. You'll sign in to both devices with that account. And when you pull up the app, you'll tell which device you want to be the camera and which device you want to actually be the viewer. In this case, I'm using my iPhone as the viewer so I could pull up the app and see what the iPad is seeing as the security camera device. At the time of me getting the app on my phone and on the iPad, it was free. Now there was ads and all that stuff spread all over it and you could only get up to a certain level of resolution, but yet it still worked, it was free. In the beginning, we got the free version and it did everything we needed. We set it up on the mantle right here behind me and then when we went somewhere, we were able to connect to it and see what was going on inside of our RV. In this case, we were keeping an eye on our dogs. We'll get into how much the paid version is in just a few minutes, but let's go ahead and dig into the app itself and see what that looks like. So first you'll need to go into the app store and you'll need to find Alfred Camera. In this case, we've already downloaded the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app so that I can start showing you what that's all about. When I pull up the app, it's gonna sign me in automatically. I've already set up everything. I have a Gmail account, I've logged in and already set it up on both of the devices. The one I'm using as a camera and the one I'm gonna use as the viewer. Now, like I said, I've already set this one up as a viewer, but if I click right here, you can see where I can switch between the two. Now I'm gonna leave this as the viewer because I wanna show y'all what this looks like. Now, as you can see here, here's a screenshot of what the iPad is going to see. Before I open it up and show you what the actual feed looks like, I wanna show you a couple of things in the app itself that you can get set up. So if I click this little gear icon up here, it's gonna come up with a few different items on here that I can set up. I wanna have the ability to get to the camera. I wanna know the name of the camera that I wanna to connect to. Do I want to get notified? In this case, the notifications is set up so that if there's any motion detected on the camera itself, then it's going to alert me on my phone to tell me that there was motion detected. There's offline statistics, pretty much just showing you how well the camera was running. Don't really use that one much. The trust circle. Now that one is pretty cool. If I go to the trust circle, you can see where I added my imagine your odyssey at gmail.com account. 
Now I have the account on this one set up on a different type of account. So I've added this one that way, if I'm logged into my phone under this account, I can also see here. Now, if you have family members and things like that, that have different accounts set up on their phones, you can add them here and all of them will have access to your security app on your device that you're using inside of your RV or wherever you may have it set up. Next after that is motion detection. If I want to turn motion detection on, that means that if it sees any kind of motion, it will try to record a little bit of that motion so that you can see it. Also, it will alert you. So in the motion detection screen, you have where you can set up the sensitivity. So you can set it up as low, medium, or high, depending on how sensitive you want it to actually pick up motion. You can actually have a detection mode. You want all motion or person only. So that means that if you set it up for person only, it's going to look for figures of a person and only alert motion if it sees that. In this case, I wanted to see my dogs moving or anything going on inside the RV, any movement at all. So I leave it on all motion. Detection zone, I currently have this off. I haven't played with it a whole lot yet, but if you turn detection zone on, you can go in and set zones up so that it sees only motion in that area that you set up in this little box. Also, you have a schedule. You can turn the schedule on and set it to run Monday through Friday or every day or off. Next on the list under others is auto low light filter. This low light filter will help in a couple of different things. If the light inside of your camper or your RV or wherever you're using it starts to get low, it will try to bring up the ISO or make things brighter so that you can see better and help with a little bit of the graininess. The next item is stay zoomed in. In this case, if you have it turned on, it's going to try to zoom in to whatever it's looking at, if it sees motion or something like that. And when it zooms in, it's going to stay zoomed in. Now, I don't want mine to do that, so I leave it turned off. It has other functions as well, but I don't need any zooming function for what I need it for. And if you want to get the app, you can play with that and see what it does for you. And then the last item on the screen is delete camera. So if you set up a device and you want that to be on your list of cameras available, it will always stay on there. So what you could do here is you could delete it if you get rid of that device. So that option is there for you if you want to delete that camera. All right, so let's go back and view. So here you can see again, I have the little screenshot of what we're getting ready to see inside the RV, which is just me sitting here recording for you. And we can go live. Before we do that, you can click on the little check button right here and it'll show the device. It'll show the system that it's running on. It will also show the app version and below it, it will give you some stability tips. So you can enable a guided access and see whether or not the camera app version is up to date. On the top of this screen right here, it'll say whether or not the device is charging or not. In this case, I'm not charging. I set everything up just to show you guys this app and how it works. But yet in this case, it said it's not charging. And if I saw that, I would make sure that I plugged in or plugged in correctly so that my device wouldn't go dead while I'm away. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the camera itself so we can see what we're looking at. And then once it's connected, it's gonna be on this screen right here. Now this is the live view right here that we're seeing from the iPad that I have set up as the actual camera itself. And if I turn right here, you can see, I'll wave at the camera and then come back. Now real quick, I wanna turn it sideways because it's gonna give me all the same information as it is in the other view, but you're more than welcome to stay on that view itself. But I want to show you what the different things on here mean. If you look in the top right hand corner, you have a 1.0x. That's the zoom. If I pinch the screen and open it up, I can zoom in. I can move the screen around and whatever I want to do like that. And then I can zoom back in and that's the actual full view again. On the bottom of the screen, it has a few things down here that you can do. What it's going to tell you is the name of the camera that you're on. That's on the left hand side of the screen. It has on the right hand side of the screen has the quality, which is HD. If I click on that, it'll have HD, standard and basic. Underneath of that, you'll see two icons. One is a microphone and one is a camera. The microphone itself, if you click and hold on it, you'll see a little microphone pop up and I'm sure you can hear behind me. So I'll go ahead and stop there. If you click on that microphone when you're away from your camera, it will act as a microphone so you can talk through the device that the camera is set up on. 
the one beside it is a record function. So you turn it on, you like what you see, there's no motion, but you wanna record something. You can click on that and it will take a recording of whatever the camera is seeing. Beside that to the right, there is an arrow. If you click on the arrow, it gives you a few other options. Going from left to right, the first option is to be able to turn the camera sideways and turn it back, turn it sideways again, and turn it back until you get to whatever view that you want. The next item on here is a camera switcher. It's gonna switch the camera from either the front or the back of the device that you have set up. Now in this case, if I flip it, it's gonna actually try to look at my TV, so I'm not gonna flip it here, but that is what it's for. The next item on this panel is a flashlight. So if it's starting to get dark inside of your RV and you want to have a little extra light for the camera to see, you can click on this and have it turn on to give a little extra additional light so that the camera can see a little better. So I'll go ahead and click on it and you'll be able to see in the screen behind me right here where the light comes on on the iPad itself. So I'll turn it on and you can see where the light come on and I can turn it right back off and the light is back out again. The next item on the panel is the low light filter. So if I click on this, things are gonna get super bright because what it's trying to do is bring in more light so they can see. So it's getting dark outside, right? So I click on it and the low light filter is now on and you see that it is super bright. If I click on it one more time, it's gonna go into an auto mode. It's gonna try to sense how much light is available and then turn itself on and off as needed. And then I can click on it one more time to turn it off and then it's just complete manual control from there. Now the interesting neat piece about the next item on this panel is that it is an alert function. What this is going to do is it's going to sound an alarm through the camera device. You'll hear it on yours, but you're going to hear it inside the RV. So you have an intruder, you have somebody inside of your RV, God forbid that you have that. But if you do, you can click on this and it will sound an alarm to hopefully make whatever that issue is go away. So if I click on it, it's first gonna give me a screen to say, are you sure you wanna do this? And then I'm gonna say yes. And then I'll turn it right back off. So you can see that the alarm itself is actually really loud and it could deter something, I don't know. Anyway, it's there if you need it. So if I click the arrow on the right hand side one more time, it'll go back to the home screen. And from there, I'm right back to where I began. So all in all, that is just about it for the Alfred camera. There isn't a whole lot more than that. You know, you put the app on two different devices, you sign in and you connect the two and you're just about done. And there's tons of help files to be able to get you where you need to be. Now, one word of the wise, the camera that you're gonna use inside of your RV or wherever you're gonna put it, you need to make sure that it has some kind of Wi-Fi signal connection. Now, if you have a device that's already a cellular device and it's connected like that, you're just fine. If the device that you're gonna use needs Wi-Fi connection, you need to make sure that you have something set up so that it can talk to the internet. Now, for how much does it cost? Now, like I said before, you could put the app on a couple of devices and try it out, it's pretty much free, or at least it was when I got it the first time. Then after that, if you wanna pay a monthly subscription, you pay that at $3.99 or $4 a month. And what that does is it gets rid of the ads. And when you click on the monthly paid version, it will tell you all the additional options it's gonna give you at that moment before you make the purchase. Don't click off yet. I want y'all to leave some comments down below about security systems that you run inside of your RV. I'm highly interested in knowing what y'all have set up already and how does it work for you? I'd also like to throw a little challenge out there. If any of you have a security system inside of your RV, I'd like for you to pull it up, get in front of that camera, make some silly face, take a screenshot of it, send it to me at iyoconnect at gmail.com, and I'll pull it up and put it on my community tab on my channel to share with everybody. So until the next time, enjoy Alfred Camera, enjoy your security systems, and God bless. <laughs>